Good afternoon students. Now let us start and continue with our chapter Know Your Computer and the next topic that we are going to cover is Computer Networking. So let's get started. Concept of Networking As we can define a computer network, the word network may be defined as a collection of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing information and resources. These are interconnected computers that could be in a room or in a building or in another state or a city or in a different countries. We can connect them all and with the help of this connection we can share the data and we can share the resources with everyone that is connected to a network. For example, networking is used in bank transactions through ATMs, the internet and online ticketing, reservations and online shopping. All these are the examples of computer networking. For taking an example of reservation, we can see all the details of the flights that are going on, when they are going on, the arrival and the departure times, every single detail is shared by the airport facilities and we can make our decision by reading them at our own place. And this made possible with the help of internet and computer network. Now, what is the necessity of networking? If we take into account of some reasons, the first reason is limited resources. As we all know, if we have to take a printout, we require a printer to be connected with a computer. But if several system users wants to take out the printout, then it is very tedious task that to copy the data every time we have to take out the printout in the system with attached printer. So for that purpose, to resolve that problem, we can use the computer networking and with the help of that a printer can be attached to all the computers in the network and they all can take out the printout at the same time. Second point is desire to share information. Information is centralized thus it is made available to all the computers connected to a network. In that way, we can easily share the information with all the systems that are connected to each other. And the last important point is the cost reduction. As it reduces cost as an input device like printer can be shared, so there is no need to attach extra printers in our network. The next topic is parts of a computer network. So we have various different parts that creates a network and we are going to take them on one by one. So the first part is called as workstations. Now workstations are every single computer in the network. It is also called as node. The users that are there using the systems, either it could be a smartphone, either it could be a computer, laptop, desktop, all are considered as work stations. And they are used to perform a specific job. Second is 
server. This is the main computer in which the networking environment is created and it is used to control the entire functioning of the network. It can be compared to a manager of a company who manages all the work and coordinates well with the various clerks. The third one is communication channels. These are the most important component of a network as the channel is required to share the information between various workstations and devices connected in a network. A channel could be a wire or different kinds of waves present in the air like radio waves, microwaves, etc. The fourth one is MODAM. It stands for Modulator Demodulator. It is an electronic device which allows one computer to send information to another through standard telephone wires and therefore cover long distances. It is usually converting the analog signal to digital signal and again digital to analog. The modems can be of two types. Either it can be an internal modem that we see inside a computer and an external modem that we see outside the computer. The fifth one is router. A router is also an electronic device that connects together two or more networks and directs the data between them. It is the main device that is bringing us the information from different different networks to our own device. Last one is Bluetooth. Bluetooth as you all know you have used it in your smartphones and it is used to share the information at shorter distances. It could be used in a wireless device such as your mobile phone headsets and by which we can listen to music. Also it can be used to share data like photos, videos, documents etc.